This would be achieved by creating enormous computer databases to gather and store the personal information of everyone in the United States, including personal emails, credit card records, phone calls, medical records. Stop right here. Health care bill. No, 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 not the health care bill. The TARP funds that went out a couple years ago to bail out all the banks, they, somebody walked in just before the vote, stuck in this little amendment that said, we're going to create a national database, we're going to digitize all the medical records in the country, and it's for everybody. This has nothing to do with bailing out the banks. We just know we can stick it in there and get it. Okay? Medical records and numerous other sources without any requirement for a search warrant. This information would then be analyzed to look for suspicious activities. I mean, I, I, I like this because this is like the government being all the grown-ups at the daycare, okay? The, the, all the workers, all the teachers at the daycare. That's the government. The citizens are the little kids, and they're out there playing in the playground. And all of a sudden, two of the workers get together, and they look at one kid, and they're going, you know, he's up to something. We need to watch him. I think, I think he's going to do something wrong. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna pull him inside and ask him what he's about to do. That's what, that's what this is, okay? To look for suspicious activities, connections between individuals, and so-called threats. Additionally, the program included funding for biometric surveillance technologies that could identify and track individuals using surveillance cameras and other methods. Bio, biometrics. Remember, we talked about this here a few weeks ago. Fingerprint analysis, iris scanning, DNA databasing. We're, we're headed there. If you think that your DNA is not database somewhere, you're probably wrong. Now, I may be wrong on that, but I suspect that probably they already or are in the process of databasing everybody's DNA, biometrics. Remember, they have to know everything about everybody. That's what they have to know. Here's their logo. The Information Awareness Office. A spirit rules over the Information Awareness Office. The all-seeing eye. The idle shepherd. The spirit that is working. The network that is being built that has to know everything. And it has the initials DARPA. We saw that a while ago. And there at the bottom... Scientia est potentia. You know what that means? Knowledge is power. That's what that means. They're building the network. According to the Wikipedia article, here's some of the things that the Information Awareness Office is working on or has already in place. Human identification at a distance. The Human Identification at a Distance Project developed automated biometric identification technologies to detect, recognize, and identify humans at great distances for, quote, force protection, crime prevention, and homeland security defense purposes. Okay, so you're walking down the street and you're going, you're looking for cameras, okay? You probably won't see them. The camera could be a hundred yards away, zoomed in on you, looking at you, and identifying you simply because your facial features. Uh, its goals included programs to develop algorithms for locating and acquiring subjects out to 150 meters, 500 feet in range. Fuse face and gait, that means how you walk, recognition into a 24-7 human identification system. Develop and demonstrate a human identification system that operates out to 150 meters using visible imagery. Develop a low-power millimeter wave radar system for wide field of view detection and narrow field of view gait classification. Characterize gait performance from, from video for human identification at a distance. Develop a multi-spectral infrared and visible face recognition system. I mean, stop and think about this. Would they, here's what they're saying. That we would be able, from 500 feet away, we would be able to recognize John Wayne. 
You remember, remember how he walked? He had a back condition. That's why he walked that way in all of his, all of his westerns. They would, 500 feet away, they would say, hey, there's John Wayne. Hey, John Wayne's walking this way. Because they can recognize you by how you walk, how you carry yourself. Being able to look great distances to know who you are and what you're up to. That's one of the programs. Evidence extraction and link discovery. Development of technologies and tools for automated discovery, extraction, and linking of sparse evidence contained in large amounts of classified and unclassified data sources, sources such as phone call records from the NSA cell database. There it is. Internet histories or bank records. EELD was designed to design systems with the ability to extract data from multiple sources, such as text messages, social networking sites, you better get ready for this one, financial records, and web pages. It was to develop the ability to detect patterns comprising multiple types of links between data items or people communicating, such as financial transactions, communications, travel, etc. It is designed to link items relating potential terrorist groups, not the real ones, not Al-Qaeda. We want to find out who might be in a terrorist group. And scenarios, scenarios, looking into the future and to learn patterns of different groups of scenarios to identify new organizations and emerging threats. And here's, here's what's going on, is that they are writing software. They're writing software. I watched a YouTube video yesterday researching this, a company showing how they're, they're developing new algorithms, new mathematical formulas that will get computers that when the, when the camera zooms in on you from 500 feet away, it instantly looks at your face, watches your characteristics, reads your lips, watches how you're walking, and determines whether or not you might be up to something. They're already using this in certain airports, looking at you as you walk, as you talk, as you blink, as you scratch your ear, and the computer is deciding whether or not you're up to something. Scary. Scalable social network analysis. Oh, I love this one. Aimed at developing techniques based on a social network analysis for modeling the key characteristics of terrorist groups and discriminating these groups from other types of societal groups. So, social networking, Twitter, MySpace, Facebook. You ever heard of those? As Christians, should we be worried about that? As born-again Christians, probably we don't like it. But remember, our life is to be an open book read by all men. Okay? Just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, here is an article from Global Research uh, on the Facebook CIA conspiracy. The article says, Facebook's first round of venture capital funding, $500,000, came from former PayPal CEO Peter Thiel. Author of anti-multicultural tome, The Diversity Myth, he is also on the board of a radical conservative group called Vanguard PAC. The second round of funding into Facebook, $12.7 million, came from the venture capital firm Excel Partners. Its manager, James Breyer, was formerly chairman of the National Venture Capital Association and served on the board with Gilman Louie, CEO of NQTEL. I'm going to show you that in a minute. A venture capital firm established by the Central Intelligence Agency in 1999. One of the company's key areas of expertise are in data mining technologies. Breyer also served on the board of R&D firm BBN Technologies, which was one of those companies responsible for the rise of the Internet. Dr. Anita Jones joined the firm, which included Gilman Louie. She had also served on the NQTEL's board and had been Director of Defense Research and Engineering for the U.S. Department of Defense, DARPA. She was also an advisor to the Secretary of Defense and overseeing the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is responsible for high-tech, high-end development. It was when a journalist lifted the lid on the DARPA's Information Awareness Office that the public began to show its concern at its information mining projects. You know what that means? Everything that you do on Facebook is being recorded. Facebook has the ability, and I, I read, somebody sent me while I was home recovering, uh, 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 some articles. It was, a, it was a, um, a memo given to military officers about how to use their cell phone. Because of the fact 